place called Thermal Raceway, which is in California, and which is where the Honda NSX is being launched because it's built in the States. So what is it? Well, we've been waiting a long time, haven't we, really? It is Honda's new £130,000 supercar. Replaces the old NSX of a fashion, but I mean, it's been out of production for so long, nearly a decade, that, you know, that car wasn't totally relevant anymore. So we have a twin turbocharged V6 behind us, three and a half litres making 500 brake. Then there is a 50 horsepower electric motor also driving at the back. Now that takes some of the sort of turbo lag away at low revs. Honda would like to give a sort of supercharged feel to this car, so it has a bit of a torque feel at low revs. And then there's an electric motor at each front wheel, which is interesting because it changes the inherent balance of this car. There are a few modes. You've got quiet mode, in which case it'll drive in the electric motors quite a lot. There's a sport mode, in which it's pretty normal for, for road use. There's a sport plus mode, which starts to firm up the dampers and the steering. And then there's a track mode, which does all that and more and puts all the powertrain into its sort of angriest, angriest settings. It's got a nine speed dual clutch transmission, which is rather lovely actually. And all of this ends up in a car that weighs 1,725 kilos, has a combined output of sort of 570 horsepower. Which if you look at the raw numbers, is there or thereabouts at 130 gram, but Honda says don't look at the raw numbers, look at what this car can do. Yes, it weighs 1,725 kilos on paper, but it does not feel it on the track. Not in the same way, it doesn't have really super direct sharp steering like a 488 Ferrari. But it does have a nice balance to it, revs to 7.5, runs into the limiter and we're in track mode with everything off, so it will run into the limiter. These ones are on carbon ceramic brakes. You know what, there is a very nice balance to it, it's actually fairly compliant in the supercar standards it's quite compliant. There is a reason Honda's launched this car in California. That's where most owners will buy it. And some of them, I think it would be fair to say, are not the sort of people who would buy a Lamborghini Huracan. Maybe not even an Audi R8 V10. I think they want a sort of softer, slightly more rounded feel to this car. I think they want it to be predominantly a road car that will behave on track when you really want it to. It's good noise, doesn't it, I think? It's not augmented through the speakers, but there is a sound tube from the engine into the cabin. It's a longitudinally mounted V6, slung very low. The turbos sit underneath it. The exhausts go out the back. They don't go high. It doesn't have sort of turbos in, in the V or anything like that. So it's, it's got a very low center of gravity. The chassis is a space frame, but it's sort of mixed metal. There's a lot of aluminium. There's a wee bit of steel. There's some plastic carbon fiber too which is actually quite an intelligent solution. I don't understand manufacturers who wed themselves to a particular material because they think it's great. Honda uses the right material in the right place. And if there was not 150 kilos of electronic gubbins and motors, you know, this would be a much lighter car than it is. And it would also look slightly different because it wouldn't need 10 radiators, which requires quite a lot of space at the front. Is it exciting? Yeah, it is pretty exciting. It's not, it's not as in your face as an R8. It's not as outrageous as an Aston Martin. There is a round, slightly soft quality to it. I think it's the right price. I think it's exciting enough. I think it's a really daily usable sports supercar. I think what will be interesting is to try it alongside a McLaren 570F or 570GT. find out which is today's everyday supercar, which is kind of what the NSX was when it came out in the early 90s. But it's got the whole gamut covered, it's got the whole natural, easy going, easy to live with car if you want. Slightly hooligan car if you don't. I like it very much, you'll like it very much, you'll like this car, it's a good car. There's not a lot to dislike about it.
can control back on before they see me. <laughs>